What's up everybody out there? This is Aaron here with another deck profile. Here as you can see right here, Dark World. Now what I like to do with decks is running two decks into one. Combine it. So what I like to do with the Dark World is combining it and I figured out you can combine it with the Fabled. So, Fabled Dark World. Fabled and Dark World is a deck where particularly you are discarding your whole entire hand. Discarding the deck. You're discarding your deck. So, here we go. Fabled Dark World. We'll go with the Dark World. The boss of the Dark World, three Graffa. When Graffa is in is sent from your hand to the graveyard, target one card in the field, destroy it. One monster, my mistake. <laughs> one monster. Most likely you're gonna you're gonna wanna destroy monsters. One face up. So most likely monsters. When this card is in the graveyard, and if you have one Dark World monster on the field, what you can do is put that monster back to your hand and special summon Graffa from the graveyard back to the field. So, three Graffa. We'll go with. The three, Brow. Brow is when it's sent from your hand to the graveyard, you can draw one card. It's your draw power for Dark World and for a discarding deck. Three, Snow. The Searcher for anything that's called Dark World. Because when this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, you can search for any card that's called Dark World, including itself if you wish to, but most likely you're not going to want to. You're just going to want to search for anything else that's called Dark World. And then the one of one beige, when discarded from your, discarded from your hand, to the graveyard, it could be special summoned from the graveyard to the field. The one gold and the one silver. When they are discarded from your hand to the graveyard, they can be special summoned. Now you can see right here the silver and gold are pretty dark. That's because they are pretty look pretty cool when they are shiny. So base most likely they're the golds. Gold series kind. So they look pretty vicious, pretty crazy. <laughs> so that is Dark World monsters. Now we'll go with the Fables. Two Grimro. When you have a Fabled monster on the field, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Search for any. It's your it's the searcher for Fabled, so Send this card to the graveyard. Search for any fabled monster. Fabled Grimro. <laughs> fabled Chris. When this card is discarded to the graveyard, select one level four or lower fabled monster in your graveyard. Accept this card and special summon it. So a little monster reborn to the fabled. Here are my tuners, and they're only the only tuners are Fable tuners. So, here's one of them, the Fable Cerebro. When this card is discarded to the graveyard, special summon it. Two Fabled Ganasha. When discarded, special summon it. It gains 200 attack. If it was done by this effect instead of just normal summoned. 
when this card is destroyed or it's going to be sent, it's going to get banished. Here's another tuner, the one Shawa. During your main phase, well, my mistake, you can discard one fabled and itself to special summon this card. So, discard plus another fable, special summon it, and the one that you just threw away. So, if it was like the Chris, it could special summon another fable since that's the effect of Chris and itself. And last but not least, the Kishano, my other tuner. You can discard one fabled monster to the graveyard except itself. Add this card from your graveyard to your hand. So most likely if it's in the graveyard, you can send away a fabled monster from your hand to the graveyard. Get this card right back from your hand. That's in... And when it's in the graveyard, get it back to your hand. So, those are the monsters. Go with the magics. Of course, yeah, staples for discarding cards the Dark World Dealings. Each player draws one card, then discard one card. So, most likely, yeah, again, discarding. Discarding, discarding. All the fables are discarding. All the dark worlds are discarding. So, dark world dealings, a staple for discarding decks. Three drag, uh, three drag down into the grave. You and your opponent look at each other's cards. You send one. From their hand, they send one from your hand. When it's discarding, it'll get discarding, draw one card, and then, of course, their effects would go. And then again, yes, the Dark World and the Fables have effects when they're discarding. Rather, the Special Summoned, most likely Special Summoned, or just like the Dark World, Grapha, destroy a target one monster, destroy it. The field spell. Gates of the Dark World. All fiend monsters gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, you can banish one fiend monster from your graveyard. Discard one fiend type monster, then draw one card. Now, okay, it says Gates of the Dark World. All the fiends, all Dark Worlds are fiends, but it says all fiends. Some of the fables are fiends, which are Grimrock, Chris. Kashano. These also work because they're fiends. So you can also use the effect of banishing these if you wish to. From your graveyard, banish one, discard one, or if you wish to, yeah, just like Chris. When it's discarded, special summon once, that's the effect of Chris, and you're gonna draw one card. And yes, they're gonna get 300 attack. So, Gates of the Dark World also works for. The fables. One gateway to the dark world. Base most likely a quick play, and it revives one dark world monster from the graveyard to the field. Like a quick monster reborn, but it only works on the dark world monsters. Card destruction. Each player discards their entire hand. Then you're going to draw that many cards of how many cards you discarded. Again, discarding. So, again, discarding cards. Now, okay, hand destruction. Now, let, I'll explain about hand destruction. Hand destruction, you have to pay a cost. Here's the thing about Dark Worlds and Fables. Of course, it says send cards. Now, okay, the Dark Worlds and the fables say discarded but here's the thing 
when you discard dark world monsters their effects don't go when you discard with fables their effects do go now those are the rules about the weird but it's that's the way the that's the way it goes and then of course yeah hand destruction your opponent must have at least two cards plus yourself and then of course discard yeah discard two your opponent discards two they draw two you draw two seems a little tricky but in the rules of the game the fables do get their effects if they're dis if you're paying a cost dark worlds do not get the effects if you pay a cost so one hand destruction and last but not least the one Raigeki and the one Darko. Now okay, Phoenix Wing Blast. Again, pay a cost. And then of course, discard one card, target one card your opponent controls, return it to the top of the deck. So Phoenix Wing Blast, again, you have to pay a cost. So if you discarded it, to for a dark world negates the effect doesn't go but the fables do get the effect and then like right here again a camera cut discard one card from your hand remove from play one face up monster your opponent controls other field if there is a card of cards in your opponent's graveyard with the same number with the same name as the removed monster also remove them from play for the game wow okay now again phoenix swing blast karma cut and hand destruction their cost play cards you must pay a cost so that's the thing with dark one that's the thing with fables and last but not least just the uh, normal storm mirror force mirror force and quake and mirror force And for the extra deck, the Fabled Unicorn, so there are Fabled Synchro Monsters, so the Fabled Unicorn. While you, can, while you and your opponent have the same number of cards in your hand, negate all spell, trap, and effect monsters activated by your opponent and destroy that spell, trap, monster. Okay. The fabled Kudabi. It is, if, the, if this card gains the following effect based on the number of cards in your hand. If you have zero, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Three or more, destroy this card during the end of the end of the phase. Valkyrius. Once per turn, you can discard one fiend type monster to draw one card. Now, okay, discard. So again, with the fiend monsters, so it doesn't actually have to be the fables. It could be also be done by the dark worlds because they are fiend type monsters. Leviathan. When this card is on the field and destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can select up to three fabled monsters in your graveyard, add them to your hand. Now with these fabled, they must be done by a fabled tuner. Which again, yes, my only tuners are fabled tuners. And then just the Black Rose Dragon. And then my only link I use is Deco Taka. So that's the deck, and as always, I will show you the combos. So first off, let's just say you had 
Gates of the Dark World. Graffa. Oh, my mistake. One more magic card I forgot to speak about. Foolish Burial I use. So, let's just say, yes. Foolish Burial. Dark World Dealings. The Fabled Grimro. And the Ganasha. That's your six card. So your five cards. Ganasha. Now, how to start this? Basically, for me, Foolish Burial. Reason of that. Most likely, you're going to want to throw away Graffa in the graveyard. Because, again, if you summon out a... A Dark World in Special Summoned... So that's what you want to do, because then you're going to get Graffa to the graveyard. All you have to do is just summon out a Dark World. So let's just say yes. Foolish Burial. Send Graffa to the graveyard. So Graffa is in the graveyard. You still have Gates, Graffa, Fabled Ganasha, and your Fabled Grimro. Next, okay. Activate Gates of the Dark World. Next, summon out Fabled Ganasha. Now, before doing the effect of Gates, remember, you can send away Grimro when you have a Fabled on the field. Throw away Fabled Grimro. Search for anything. Most likely, I would go with... You're going to search for your Crush. Now, okay. Activate Dark World Dealings. Let's say you were lucky enough and you got your beige. So, throw away one. So, you could throw a Fabled Chris and a special summons one. So, it would special summon Grimro. Or you can do this discard your beige. When beige is discarded by a card effect special summon it now put this card back to your hand special summon Graffa now okay gate to the dark world gain 300 attack for all fiend time monsters Ganasha is not a fiend but Graffa is it's a 27 attacker, but then with the effect of Gates of the Dark World, he gains 300 attack. So, your hand, that's the field, it's the graveyard, you have your field spell out. Your draw was dragged down into the grave. Activate. Your opponent's going to choose either of these three. Now, basically, you're going to get the effect of either of these three. So. Let's just play... Let's just say they want to throw away Chris. So, Chris, thrown into the graveyard. Special summons one. Special summon Grimro. Now, okay. Your draw was 
Cerebro. So, you have Ganasha, Grapha, Grimro. Now, okay, next. Maybe you just want to do this. Now, I'll explain this in a bit right now. One, two, three. Okay. Now, okay. Do this. Send away these three. Get Deco Taka. Now, the reason why I would do this is because you want to already possibly do a play when you can play an extra where the arrows are to play a of course yeah play something use the effect of gates banish the cruss discard dark will send away special your draw was card destruction get this to your put this back get your grapho you can add it to your arrows of where you are now Car destruction. Activate. Throw away beige. Throw away cerebro. Throw away grapha. Beige. There's gonna be special summoned. Cerebro. Special summon. Grapha. Discard it. Pop one face on monster. Now, okay. Cerebro, Grapha, that's a level 10. Synchro with this. Leviathan. Beige, back to your hand. Grapha, back to the field. Fiend type monsters gain 300 attack. Leviathan is a fiend. 3,300 attack. Grapha, 3,000 attack. And you still have your. Deco Taka. Look at that right there. Your beige is still in your hands. You draw. Kashano. So, okay. Gate to the Dark World. You want to possibly throw away your Grimro? Beige. Discard special. Discard back. You're the Grapha. You draw. You're lucky and you got another Dark World Dealings. Dark World Dealings. My mistake. Let's just say you put Grapha right here. Because this is why. Your draw was gold. Discard gold. Special summon gold. You haven't even normal summoned. Normal summon Kushana. 
Synchro again. So use Kashano. Use gold. Make your level 8. Now, Valkyrius. You can discard one fiend type monster to draw one card. Beige is a fiend monster. Discard. Special summon. Draw your one card. Let's say it was Raigeki. You have all this out. Your opponent had monsters. Raigeki, y'all. Huh? Look at that big board you got right there. End gates of the dark world. So, not 16, it's 19. 33. 3,000. 32. Straight like that. Drag down into the grave. Dark World Dealings. Card Destruction. These are magic cards to help you. If you send away the brow, it's going to help you draw a card. If you use it with Gates of the Dark World, it's going to help you draw a second time. So you draw two cards. Gateways to help you just bring one out. So let's just say you had nothing and you had gate, gateway, your opponent would attack. No, you can activate even on your opponent's turn, special summon right back, and then they could rather pause their attack because they cannot destroy a 27 attacker, or they could, but when you have gate to the dark without 3000, okay, let's just say the monster was like 28. No, they're not going to want to attack. Of course, if you need to, blow up the whole entire field. These just help you with the fables. So all this helps you. And the deck is just fun because you keep on discarding, discarding, discarding. Bringing this back for every single time you bring out a Dark World. Special summon it right back. So it's fun. I like it. I like using decks where you combine it together. And that's just the way the deck works. Combine. That's my that's my thing. Of course there are other decks. It's just one particular kind of deck. Yes, yeah, okay, I've played decks like that also, but it's fun decks. It's not those competitive one-way one way deck where all, you, all they depend on is, of course, winning, and they're just going to win on that one turn. No, I would want the game to continue on for some time. Not just in one turn, you're going to die. No, at least have the game go up to at least 10 minutes or more. More than five turns. That's my way of playing the, playing a match. And then of course, yeah, have it fun. With something like, yeah, Dark World and Fable because that's being creative. Creative player I like to be. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Show you more deck profiles later. Peace.